Hey guys, Wix100 here, and I have a, another C Sharp tutorial. This time I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use container controls. And this should be. We are going to be nearing the end of the um, control tutorials, and we will actually start learning how to make fully functional programs in a couple weeks. I have like two more tutorials, and then I will start releasing fully functional program tutorials. So as always, let's create a new project. And then do a Windows Forms app.net framework. And let's call it container controls. And I'm putting it in my GitHub and create. Okay, and so the container controls are a panel, which actually, since it goes based off of alphabet, that's actually a flow panel. So I will delete that. So let's put in an actual panel. So a panel, a flow panel, where'd it go? It's in the F's. F's. Actually, let's do a group box too. A flow layout panel, a tab control, a table layout panel, and a split panel, split container. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now that we have all six of them, to move these, you use the little move icon in the corner and I will explain the differences for the different panels once I get these arranged yeah, this one's shorter for some reason okay so the differences between these different con um, containers I will demonstrate by adding a button. So, a normal panel, you can just put in controls however you want. With a flow layout panel, it automatically moves them so that they flow. That's a tiny button, let's put in a normal button. So, if I shrink it down, and it now fits in that row, it flows there but if it becomes too big it automatically word wrap it wraps around to the other row just like when typing a table I don't generally use a table but a table appears to have multiple flow panels in them which actually as I was discovering before I only need one button there um, it has multiple flow panels that you can change the columns, rows, however you want. A grip box is just like a normal panel, except it has that border around the end and it has a label at the top. A split panel has two smaller panels inside that you can change the size of. So, and you can actually change if it's a horizontal or a vertical split. A tab control has multiple pages in it. So let's put a button in each of those pages. And you can have more than one page, you can have only one page, you can make it so that you can push a button and it adds another page. Uh, there will be other tutorials where I go more in depth with a tab control um, as I use it in other tutorials I will show what is necessary for that tutorial so now that we have all our controls here let's rename them using the normal naming methods that we always do 
EX panel, EX flow panel. EX table panel EX no not F group box EX split not slip split panel and as it says up there, the split panel that panel one. Are we able to change that name? Let's find out. Oh, panel one. So let's change that to VX split. I keep typing slip. Apparently, I cannot change that name. Okay, so then it's just gonna be the way it is. I uh, already did that, I already did that. EX tab page one. And let's switch to tab page two. EX tab page two. And rename the actual tab control. EX tab control. And so what we could do now is the goal that we want is we want the when you hit the button it tells you the name of its parent container the parent container is what is where the item is located so this button is within this panel so its parent is the panel this panel is inside this form so its parent is the form so let's actually rename the form to container controls like we've been doing before and also remove the maximize box and change its form border style to fixed single and so we can individually change what these buttons do or we can select all of these buttons and hit this little lightning bolt and find where it says click and say buttons underscore click and now it created one uh, method now because we missed a button because you can't change the tab control and have other things selected we now need to click that and type the exact same thing if you type it wrong it will create another new method buttons underscore click and it looks like it didn't do anything but the methods already created so let's actually rename or we don't actually need to rename the buttons it would be better if we did but in this case let's just change the text of the button so panel flow table group split not split 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 tab and let's change the other one tab okay make sure it's save often and let's go into the controls now I'm gonna teach you a neat trick to get the details from that specific control so if you see here one of the parameters that gets passed into this method is sender and sender is an object object means that it could be any variable type ever so it could be an int, it could be a string, it could be a button, a label, um, a boolean, it could be anything. So we have an issue with that because since it's not a control, 
of any kind. It's just a generic variable. It doesn't have the uh, properties that we want. So let's put message box dot show. But a trick to deal with that is you can do what's called typecasting. Typecasting allows you to change a variable of one type into a variable of another type. So let's say control sender dot okay so we need another set of parentheses around there so saying parentheses control parentheses sender is now saying that sender we're going to get the value of sender if it's a control and since it has the data of a button control which is a control um, it should be able to format into a control properly and you need to put parentheses around that because you want that whole group dot parent dot name and so if we hit start our buttons should tell us the name of the panel that they're in. Now, you can't see the borders of the panels here, but they are there. In fact, you can see that little divider. I can still move the um, where the divider is in the split panel. So if you hit this button, it says EX panel, which is what we gave the name of it. EX flow panel, EX table panel, EX group box, EX tab page one, EX tab page two. Now something is weird with the split buttons where it's showing blank. And the reason for that is because the parent of these buttons is not actually the split panel. The parent of these two buttons is the sub panel within, and those don't have names as I demonstrated earlier when I tried to change their names. Because if you go here there's nothing under name and if you hit escape to go into the actual split panel then it says panel one split container dot split container one dot panel one and i was unable to change it because that's not actually under the name property so as you can see those are how different panels or different container types work. You can even do the reverse process, find the parent's children, which would be the different, um, which would be the different controls within, but for this instance, it would just be the buttons, unless the, you're talking about the tab control, then the tab pages would be the children. Um, so, hope you enjoyed check out everything else that I do. I have a uh, lots of stuff that I release to the internet. Check out my website. Check out the uh, Infinity Programming Discord if you want help or want to give help on programming. And check out the GitHub if you want to see my exact code and have access to that. Uh, Till next time. Bye! Thank you.